Have you ever wondered how quantum computers actually work? Well, you're not alone. Quantum computing is a complex yet intriguing field that merges the principles of physics, computer science, and mathematics. It's like a cocktail of the most intricate disciplines, shaken, not stirred. Quantum computing isn't just another buzzword. It's a revolutionary technology with the potential to redefine our computational capabilities. Imagine problems that traditional computers would take thousands of years to solve being cracked in mere seconds. That's the power quantum computing promises. But with great power comes great complexity. And quantum computing is no exception. Its foundation rests on quantum mechanics, a branch of physics that even the legendary physicist Richard Feynman once said, if you think you understand quantum mechanics, you don't understand quantum mechanics. But don't worry, we're here to simplify it for you. So buckle up for an exciting journey as we delve into the fascinating world of quantum computing. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the fascinating world of quantum computing. To understand quantum computing, we need to first understand what a quantum is. In the realm of physics, quantum is the smallest possible discrete unit of any physical property, be it energy, matter, or even light. It is this tiny, seemingly insignificant particle that forms the foundation of quantum computing. Now let's dive a little deeper. In the world of traditional computing, the basic unit of information is a bit, which can exist in one state at a time, either zero or one. This binary system is what powers every device, from your smartphone to the most advanced supercomputers. But quantum computing dares to defy this fundamental rule. Enter the quantum bit, or qubit. Unlike a traditional bit, a qubit can exist in multiple states at once. It can be a zero, a one, or both zero and one simultaneously. This is due to a unique quantum phenomenon known as superposition. Imagine flipping a coin. In the brief moment it's in the air, it's neither heads nor tails, but both at the same time. That's superposition. It's like having a coin that, instead of landing as either heads or tails, can land as both at the same time. This allows a quantum computer to process a vast number of possibilities all at once, rather than one by one as a traditional computer would. It's as if, while a traditional computer is reading a book page by page, a quantum computer is reading every page of the book simultaneously. But superposition is just the tip of the quantum iceberg. Qubits can also be entangled, a phenomenon that links two qubits together so that the state of one directly influences the state of the other, no matter the distance between them. This is another quantum quirk that gives quantum computers their immense processing power. This ability of qubits to exist in multiple states is what sets quantum computers apart. And it's this very property that could revolutionize the future of computing, opening doors to possibilities we've yet to even imagine. But more on that in the next scene. Now that we know what a quantum is, it's time to understand how quantum computers work. Quantum computers operate on the principles of quantum mechanics, a branch of physics that deals with phenomena on a very small scale, such as molecules, atoms, and even subatomic particles. To comprehend how these computers function, we must grasp two key principles of quantum mechanics, superposition and entanglement. Let's start with superposition. In classical computing, a bit is the smallest unit of information, and it can be either a zero or a one. However, in the quantum world, we have what's called a qubit, which can be both zero and one at the same time, thanks to the principle of superposition. Picture it like this. If a classical bit was a coin, it could only show heads or tails. A qubit, however, is like a coin spinning in the air, simultaneously showing heads and tails. This allows a qubit to hold and process a vast amount of information compared to a classical bit. Now let's move to entanglement. This is a peculiar quantum phenomenon where two qubits become linked, such that the state of one immediately influences the state of the other, no matter how far apart they are. Think of it as two intertwined dancers, moving in perfect sync, even if they're on opposite ends of the stage. This principle gives quantum computers their ability to process complex computations at a speed that would be impossible for classical computers. In a nutshell, quantum computers leverage the strange yet fascinating principles of quantum mechanics, using qubits that exist in multiple states at once and can influence each other instantaneously. They perform many calculations simultaneously, drastically reducing computation time for complex problems. In essence, quantum computers harness the weirdness of quantum mechanics to achieve unparalleled computational power. You might be wondering, why do we need such complex machines? Well, the answer lies in the sheer power and potential of quantum computing. 
quantum computers aren't just about doing things faster or more efficiently, they're about doing things we could never even dream of with our current technology. Let's dive into some of the potential applications of quantum computing. One of the most significant areas is cryptography. Today, much of our online security is based on the difficulty of factoring large numbers into primes, a task that's immensely time-consuming for classical computers. But for a quantum computer, it's a walk in the park. This could completely transform the field of online security, making our data safer than ever before. But it doesn't stop there. Quantum computers could also be invaluable for complex simulations. Imagine being able to perfectly simulate the human body, right down to the last atom. This could revolutionize medicine, leading to new treatments and even cures for diseases that currently seem insurmountable. And then there's optimization problems. These are problems where you have a huge number of possible solutions and need to find the best one. Think of it like trying to find the shortest route for a delivery driver who has to visit a hundred different locations. With a classical computer, this could take centuries to solve. But with a quantum computer, it could be done in a flash. Quantum computing could also have a profound impact on fields like finance and artificial intelligence. In finance, it could be used to model markets with unprecedented accuracy, leading to more effective strategies. In artificial intelligence, it could enable machines to learn and make decisions faster than ever before. So, you see, the power of quantum computing is not just about speed, it's about opening up whole new realms of possibility. It's about tackling problems that are currently beyond our reach and transforming our understanding of the world. Quantum computing, while complex, promises to unlock whole new possibilities for humanity. As fascinating as quantum computing is, it's important to remember that it's still in its early stages. With this in mind, let's delve into some of the current limitations of this cutting-edge technology. One of the primary challenges lies in maintaining quantum states, a concept known as quantum coherence. In our world of classical physics, quantum particles behave rather peculiarly and can exist in multiple states at once. However, this state is delicate and easily disrupted by environmental factors such as temperature and electromagnetic radiation. This makes quantum computing hardware incredibly challenging to build and maintain. Additionally, the lack of a mature quantum programming language poses another hurdle. Traditional programming languages are not designed to handle the probabilistic nature of quantum bits or qubits. As a result, we need to develop new programming languages and algorithms specifically for quantum computing. Moreover, error correction in quantum computing is a significant challenge. Unlike classical bits, which are either zero or one, a qubit can represent zero, one, or both at the same time. This superposition adds a layer of complexity to error detection and correction. Despite these limitations, the field of quantum computing is bustling with research and development. Scientists and engineers worldwide are relentlessly working to stabilize quantum states, create quantum programming languages, and improve error correction methods. To give you an idea of the ongoing efforts, consider the development of quantum-resistant algorithms. These algorithms aim to protect our digital information in the post-quantum era, when quantum computers could potentially crack classical cryptographic systems. Also on the horizon are quantum networks, which would allow quantum computers to communicate and share information securely. This could lead to the development of a quantum internet, a concept that could revolutionize how we exchange data. Despite its challenges, the future of quantum computing looks bright, promising to push the boundaries of what we currently understand as computing. So, while we're still in the early stages of this quantum journey, the road ahead is filled with exciting possibilities, and the destination promises to be nothing short of revolutionary.